Basic Photography 101 is for the beginner and anyone who wants to know how to take better photos. The purpose of this video is to help you understand the basic principles of photography. Exposure, depth of field, and composition. We'll discuss light, ISO settings, aperture, shutter speed, and other photography terms, making them simple to understand and apply. It doesn't matter if you shoot with a film camera or a digital camera. The basic principles are the same. If you shoot with your camera settings on automatic, the camera is doing all the thinking for you. The camera is adjusting the aperture and shutter speed based on the light striking the subject. You have no control of the exposure. You can only control the composition of the photograph. In this point and shoot method, you get a correctly exposed photograph in most situations. But some situations call for adjustments on your part. For instance, when you're shooting a subject against a bright background, like a white sandy beach or snow. The ISO setting is important to understand, as well as the terms f-stop, shutter speed, and white balance. By understanding the basic principles of photography, you take control of your camera to get the shots you want and not the shots the camera gives you. Exposure is the combination of the aperture f-stop setting and the shutter speed based on the ISO setting on the camera. So, what is aperture? And shutter speed? Aperture is the f-stop setting on the lens or an internal setting on a digital camera. It refers to the iris or lens opening. A small lens opening, such as f16 or f22, lets in less light than an f-stop set at f4 or f2.8, which are larger lens openings. The newer, dedicated digital lenses don't have the f-stop settings on the barrel of the lens. Digital cameras have internal intermediate iris settings between the major customary f-stop settings. As you change from one f-stop setting to another, you increase or decrease the amount of light reaching the sensor by one half or by two. For example, if your f-stop is set at f11 and you open up the lens by switching to f8, you are letting in twice as much light. If you switch from f8 to f11, closing the lens down, you are letting in half as much light. To get the same correct exposure when you open up the iris or close down the iris, you also have to change the shutter speed to compensate. You might ask, why should I buy a video on photography when there is so much free tips and info out there on the internet? That's a good question. But I'm amazed as a professional photographer that there is a lot of information and tips that are inaccurate and confusing, especially for beginners. Wouldn't it be great to have all the information you need to be a good photographer in one place. This video teaches the basic principles of photography that every serious photographer needs to know and understand to be a good photographer. I wish a video like this had been available when I was learning photography 40 years ago. I guarantee you, if you get the video, 
you will learn and understand the basic principles of photography that will make you a better photographer. To purchase the video, go to my website at www.csphotovideo.com or click on the link below in the description area. You have three options for getting the video. The Blu-ray version, high definition video, is only $29.99. The standard definition DVD version is only $24.99. Or you can download the video for only $19.99. Here on YouTube, I hope you like my presentation and subscribe to my channel for more tips on photography. I also plan to produce more how-to videos on different subjects of photography. Most creative photographers see an image up here before they see the image in the viewfinder. When you know and understand the basic principles of photography, you can create that image in the camera. Thank you, good luck, good shooting.